Hello everyone, welcome to day eight of the 12 days of Yule challenge. At this point, you should probably already know what the 12 days of Yule challenge. There are content creators that are posting 12 videos in 12 days. Every day has a different prompt. And today's prompt is spirits of Yule, who do you work with this time of year? I know some people work with gods or goddesses or maybe some house spirits that really pertain to Yule and the winter season. So I'm really curious to know who everyone else works with. I actually don't work with any spirits that particularly tie to Yule. However, I will say that there is one spirit that I always work with during Yule, the winter solstice, all winter season long, and that is my house spirit. I work with the home, the hearth. This is a time to get really cozy and festive inside our own homes. And so I wanted to kind of like take you along today. I'm going to be doing a lot of work with my house spirit today. The last seven videos, I will say, <laughs> I was trying to put way too much time and effort into these videos. I'm the Seven videos in seven days in itself is a ton. So I'm going on day eight of filming these videos. So instead of having like a more formal sit down where I explain how to work with a house spirit and all that stuff, I think I'm just going to take you along and just show you me working with my house spirit today. I think it might be a good um, video topic in the future. So definitely let me know if you want a video topic of how to actually like a more formal sit down, how to, how to work with a house spirit and how to develop your relationship. But I think it's so, so important to have a relationship with your house. And when I say house spirit, I feel like I need to clarify really quick. I don't mean house spirit. I mean house spirit. So I've definitely used the term in the past house spirits to indicate any sort of spirits or some sort of entity that is in this space with me. Whether it's an ancestor that has passed on, whether it's just a spirit that is passing through in the moment, whether it's more like a traditional house spirit, like a brownie. I personally work with gnomes now. If you watched my day three, you already know that. So gnomes I would consider one of my house spirits. Although they really live in the garden, not necessarily in my house. They're more so garden spirits. But anyways, those are house spirits spirits. But when I say the house spirit, what I mean is that there is this idea that your home is a spirit in itself. Yes, you can have other spirits inhabiting the home with you, but the home itself is its separate entity, its own spirit. If you think about the building process of a home, usually it's made from wood that came from trees. And if you're an animist like me, you believe that trees have a spirit. And then there is the energy that's put into actually building the home. And of course, the energy that happens inside the home continues to feed the house spirit. And you can have have your house spirit actually working for you rather than against you. So I definitely recommend if you don't already have a relationship with your house spirit, now is the time to start. I don't know if you've ever been in a situation where I had this once in an apartment that I lived in, but it was just like everything was breaking down all the time. Everything was breaking down. It was a really unhappy, toxic living environment. And one of the best ways to turn that around, first of all, is to just get out of a toxic environment if it has to do with roommates or family members or whatever it is. But beyond that, when you start developing a relationship with your house spirit, you might find that things start turning around for you and that things aren't breaking as often. You can also use your house spirit in protection workings to really enhance your home protection. Why wouldn't you want to bring in your house spirit to fight alongside with you and to protect your home? So rather than you just doing home protections by yourself, you're bringing in your house spirit into your rituals. Again, I could talk about the house spirit forever. There's so many different ways that you can connect to your house spirit by giving it a name. You can create a house sigil. You can meditate with the house spirit. You can also let the house spirit know anytime that you are planning to do any sort of renovations or any changes on the house. I think that's something that's really, really important is that if you are planning to renovate your home, taking a moment to sit with the house spirit and just telling it what you're about to do. You might find that your renovation process goes a lot easier. But beyond that, just filling your house with happiness, joy, laughter, making simmer pots and burning some aromatic herbs. All of these things can be offerings to your house spirit cleaning up is a big one. Cleaning and decluttering your space is a huge offering to the house spirit. So I wanted to show you a recent offering that I did. The sun is like poking out right now. And then we'll spend the day together just doing, I don't know, house spirit things. This is an offering that I did a while ago and I was originally, oh, this is my hearth by the way. <laughs> this is my tiny little fireplace. But this is an offering that I did. Um, I was only gonna leave it out for three days, but then it smelled so good that I decided to leave it out a little bit longer. It's actually not centered anymore. So I made a prosperity pumpkin and offered it to my house spirit. And this prosperity pumpkin, this is an idea that I got from one of my old coven mates like forever ago. 
show, but it's meant to bring you prosperity and good fortune. And if you've seen my day three vlog where I talked about my relationship with the gnomes, you know how important that pumpkin is to me and you know where that pumpkin came from. So I decided to take my pumpkin and I put some cinnamon over the top and some cloves and then I drizzled it with Lucky Oil. So I have this Lucky Magical Oil that I made for myself. I drizzled it all over my pumpkin and then I also dried some oranges because oranges are another great correspondence for prosperity and abundance. And then I just kind of surrounded my pumpkin. And then what I did from there is I set it in front of my hearth because when working with the house spirit, you want to work in places that are symbolic of where the most activity is happening. So either like the kitchen or the living room or somewhere where the whole family continuously gathers. And so we are always in this little living room. And so I put this pumpkin on my hearth as an offering to the house spirit. I was planning on just leaving it out for three days, but like I mentioned, it smells so delicious. So I'm just going to keep, I'm just going to keep it out. I mean, everything's dried. It's not really like anything's going to get moldy. So we'll see how long it lasts. And then I'll just recycle it all back to the earth. Not in my garden beds though. I'm going to recycle the pumpkin elsewhere. I don't need to have like 62 pumpkin plants again sprouting in my garden. So I think I need to start by cleaning up this place. Honestly, it is very, it's very, very messy. I've got, <laughs> yikes, <laughs> I really need to clean this living room. So I think I'm gonna start by cleaning up a little bit as part of my offering to the house spirit today. Maybe I'll make a little simmer pot or something. I don't really know where the day is gonna take me. I also kind of wanna do a protection charm, but that honestly might be too much for this video. So we'll just see what we accomplish. Oh, and I think music can be a really great offering to the house spirit. Music, like putting music on blast and then just dancing around your living room. That's what I do when I'm cleaning and it just brings in such good energy that the house spirit can feed off of. I'm currently listening to one of my playlists. If you don't know, um, I have a Spotify. I'll link it in the description box and you can follow me there if you want. I don't care if you do or you don't. It's not like, I, I don't care. I'm just sharing this, but I have a lot of different playlists. So I have a ritual playlist. I have a 90s witch cleaning her cottage playlist, which is what I usually do when I'm cleaning or on a road trip or just wanting some like funky practical magic vibes. But today, Today, if you can't tell from my lipstick, okay, we're going sultry, we're going saucy. I'm going like a little bit rock and roll and vampire-esque. So I have a playlist called Sex, Magic, and Vampires because I'm obsessed with vampires and it is a very sexy playlist. So think like feeling yourself, feeling badass, maybe a little bit of BDSM, you know, whatever you're into. And that's kind of the vibe that I want for today. <laughs> so that is what I will be listening to. I'll link the playlist if y'all want to check it out. Again, I don't really care. I'm just sharing music. Oh, I do also have a dark academia playlist as well. Okay, let's do this. Let's go clean. So I should probably tell you about my bandana. I've just been running up and down the stairs <laughs> trying, trying to get ready to film. So I have this bandana that I put on when I'm about to work with my house spirit and it helps me kind of differentiate between my mundane tasks and things that I'm doing for my house spirit. I know a lot of people like to weave in their mundane with the magic, but for me, this has been consecrated and I have worked with this bandana every time I've done some sort of house spirit ritual, so I like to wear it to get myself into the right state of mind. So putting this bandana on signifies to the house spirit that I am ready to do some offerings. I'm ready to connect with it a little bit deeper. Also, what song shall I start with? Tell me things you've never said out loud Just try and go there if you can Show me the parts of you you're not that proud of I wanna know I'm just a man How have you know that I have good and bad days? Come on now, love, don't be naive Lay out our cards and you'll see all my mistakes Well, I don't mind where you're with me Have I fallen? Am I crawling on my knees? Here I'm calling in the 
hope that you'll see me It's nighttime now. I wanted to um, do a lot more for my house spirit today, but I'm happy with what I accomplished. I did want to do a protection charm, so I'll have to do that in another video, maybe for January or something, because I already have the, the 12 days of Yule uh, videos planned out. Nobody can tell me that soup is not a simmer pot, okay? You were throwing herbs, you were throwing all this like healthy, good smelling, wonderful stuff into this pot and then simmering it all afternoon. I had that pot, I really recommend if you make the soup, make it so you can simmer it all day long because a not only does it make your house smell amazing but the flavors just marry together so well oh it's the best chicken soup you will ever have and it has so many good healthy ingredients in it i got makeup on my face you guys it's been a really long day but it's so healthy i swear by that soup it cures your soul and our house smells so good now anyways thank you for coming along with me today as i work with my house spirit don't forget to check out all the other youtubers doing this challenge of course click on the hashtag 12 days of yule and you will find everybody participating in this lots of new channels to check out so i love you all i will see you tomorrow for day nine